stained glass is an old art form that, not surprisingly, got its start as a way to tell biblical stories in church windows. Now it's seen everywhere, and well, that's great for the Murfreesboro artist you're about to meet. Teresa Bush takes us to meet Mara White, who loves making things with stained glass so much, she doesn't think of it as work. I grew up in Southern California, right next to Laguna Beach. It's a, an art colony, it has been since the 20s, and so it's just pervasive. Everywhere you go, you could go out and spit and hit 10 artists. None of them were making a living, but we all did art. And so um, my parents really did um, encourage us to, to do whatever we wanted to do. With that encouragement, Mara White tried a little bit of everything while taking art classes in high school, from pottery to painting, but stained glass is what really caught her eye. But for her, there was one big problem that nearly kept her from pursuing the craft. They didn't have electric grinders back then, and when you sand the edge of the glass, there's this <laughs> sound, and it was like fingernails on a chalkboard to me. So I loved it, but I couldn't take that sound, so I went on to something else. Years later, when our two youngest were in middle school and I had more time, I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna take that up again. They have electric grinders now, and so I just have been doing it ever since. Mara and her husband Rod moved every two years because he was a colonel in the Marines, and that kept her from opening a studio. After his retirement, they settled in Murfreesboro, and with his encouragement, she opened Southern Stained Glass in 2003. While I didn't ever picture having a stained glass studio, it, it just worked out to be something that I loved. Her studio is on Main Street, just a few doors off the square, a good location for walk-in traffic and a good building that allows Mara to make a mess. It's a very old building, has lots of character, and I just, I just love its industrial nature. It's the concrete floors, and stained glass is a dirty, dirty business. Mara can make just about anything with glass, from beads, mosaics, she melts bottles for keepsakes. She fuses a bunch of glass pieces to make attractive works of art. But by far, the biggest demand is for stained glass pieces. Windows, entrances, cabinet doors, even pictures to just hang on the wall. And it all starts with an idea. I'll just start talking to them and see what kind of person they are. Are they symmetrical? That means they have to have something totally symmetrical. Are they just flowy and organic? That means they can have something wild and crazy in there. And so that's where I start. Then Mara draws the design on a computer. The colors are chosen. It's traced to glass. Then each piece is cut by hand and the edges are smooth. There are some risks that go along with being a stained glass artist. The solder iron alone is a whopping 800 degrees, but it has to be. And then of course, there's the most obvious thing, handling glass every day. And even for the most skilled stained glass artists, they do get a few nicks every now and then. People ask me all the time, do you ever cut yourself? And I just laugh and say, oh yeah. It's glass. <laughs> lots and lots of times. And you have Band-Aids today to Yeah, break. I do, I do, I've been cutting <laughs> glass. There are two methods of creating a stained glass piece, leaded, which has been around for centuries, and the Tiffany style. Mara does both. You see it's a jigsaw puzzle that was taken apart and now it needs to be put back together again. The traditional leaded stained glass method is created by wrapping flexible channeled strips of lead around each piece of glass. This is the Tiffany style. You see there's a, a lead line going down and you just solder to the line and get it to melt. I just want all of the copper foil covered. I don't want to see any of the copper foil. So if there's a spot where it's showing, I need to make sure that it's covered by solder. In this style, each piece of glass is wrapped in thin strips of copper foil instead of the lead. Solder is applied on top of the copper, making a seam. 
and this allows artists to make very, very intricate designs. This is the payoff, this is the fun part. You get to just stand and look at it. Mara also teaches and she says she loves that just about as much as creating and she can't see herself doing anything else and neither can her husband. So I'll say, oh, I'm going to work and he says, oh, don't kid yourself. There's no, you don't go to work ever, ever. You go and play all day. And I do.